Where are we, in Syria? Is that unbelievable? Did that happen today in New York City? It's reading, writing, and infatata, the revolution at the Ivy Leagues. Pro-Hamas lunatics swarming the campus at Columbia, right uptown from here, lighting flares, chanting various threats to Israel and the Jewish people, and tangentially through us. One student saying it was like a war zone. There were people coming in from NYU, from other places, people who were not even students coming in to protest. That's where you see, you know, the flares being lit up at night, especially. Um, so it was very surreal being a student. Um, it really felt like we we're in, in what some people would say, you know, almost a war zone of a campus. The pro-Hamas chaos continued today. Columbia has its own version of Chaz. Remember that in Seattle? Called the Liberated Zone or Gaza Solidarity Encampment. That's what they're calling it. Hundreds of students setting up tents on the school's lawn to protest Israel. The NYPD raided it after the university's president said, go ahead, rip it up. They arrested over 100 individuals, and Columbia then suspended them. But when cops loaded them onto the buses, it didn't stop there. Outside agitators went into the middle of the street, trying to block them from moving, forcing the bus to go in reverse to a detention facility. That just happened today. A lot of stuff unfolded last night where there was arrest, and a cop was hit and scratched and attacked. So, Jesse, let's start with this. Did you, can you believe they are chanting about the infantata in New York City? Can you believe I am Hamas comes out of the, proudly comes out of that, that woman's mouth on the streets of New York City? It's like Arab spring break is going on. <laughs> Brian, you can protest what's going on over there, and that's fine. There's always been anti-war protests at college campuses. We're now moving away from your regular protest. We're now moving into what I would consider opening an FBI investigation. They've said that it's hate speech when you say build the wall. Mm -hmm. They said the biggest domestic threat to this country are MAGA Republicans. They call Trump rallies Klan rallies. I want the FBI, whoever these people are, to treat exactly what they say as hate speech is this. Because if you're having people say, I am a Hamas, death to America, and burning things... You need to be held accountable for that. That goes way beyond your typical radical anti-war protest. And put it this way, if they, if they actually suspended those people, that means they know their names. If you know their names and they're in a student visa, they got to go. Yep. You blew it. You're out. You're done. You're finished. I'm curious to see that roster. Also, to build on what she said, what uh, Jesse said, Dana, the American flags are triggered to some people. Remember, they want to take the flag down. Put the flag down. It drives me crazy. We had a young student uh, named Lishi. Can't remember his last name. Sorry, Lishi. He goes to Columbia. He and his buddy David, they had gone down to another protest that was happening um, south of here. And there were people chanting like that. And then one, they went to burn the American flag. And Lishi stepped in, like, what are you doing? And when the guy turned to run, his shirt caught on fire. Like, some, like, there will be, there should be an FBI investigation. There should be more cops. I'm glad the university's finally figured out a way to say, like, okay, go break up the tents. But Martha McCallum, she had such a good point on the story. She said, look at all the tents. They're all the same. Who bought them? They're brand new. So I think following the money, one of the reasons you have an FBI investigation or an NYPD investigation is you follow the money to find out where it's coming from. I also love that the Google employees got... Um, fired. I would have loved me on some of the phone calls when they had to call mom and dad and say, uh, heads up, I'm going to need help paying rent next month because I just threw my big job down the drain. Yeah, and it's not because of layoffs. It's because I chose to call out yeah. my boss because I didn't like where they were investing. Uh, and that's part of the reason why Google, I believe, backed off their investment in the Pentagon because they didn't want to be part of that anymore, but they would invest in China. You know what I, I'm heartened by, Harold? I have more Democrat, as many Democrat friends that I know and people speaking out of concern about this as Republicans. Are you one of them? Of course I am and always have been. In fact, I'm the only one in this set here who's actually voted for funding for these things. This is absurd um, that we find ourselves in a situation um, where tenured professors, I heard my friend Robert Wolf on with Martha earlier, and he said one of the things he was hoping and praying for was that these universities, I'm a graduate of, of a school that's been in the, the news here, uh, Penn, um, and that these universities are looking at how you undo some of these tenured professors. Can you fire them for cause? Because this would seem to be uh, for cause. Two, you're not, you don't hear any of these protesters, Brian, asking for the release of the hostages. Nope. Oh, that's you right. don't hear any. I, I, I'm with Jesse. Everyone has a right to protest, but their, pro, their protest is what you started up. They are, they are wanting... De they are claiming death to America. They're, they're praising a terrorist organization. Hamas has been designated 
a terrorist organization. Can you imagine being on the street and saying, I love ISIS? Right. That's the equivalent of what these people do. Now, some may say they don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I mean, we've all seen what Hamas did and what Hamas represents. And if they don't know what they're saying, uh, they should all be uh, uh, educated by police officers and law enforcement explaining this is what you're saying. And if you're going to continue to say it, here's, here's, the, uh, here's the answer. Finally, I was encouraged today to see that there is some efforts behind the scenes, or at least it was reported in one of our in-house newspapers, The Wall Street Journal, that the White House and Israel and uh, Saudi Arabia are continuing to move forward, trying to move forward on an historic deal between the Israelis uh, and the Saudis. Uh, which, as you remember, this is what happened prior to October 7th. Many people thought that the fact they'd made so much progress, and our own Brett Baer was interviewed both uh, MBS and Netanyahu. Many people thought that that might have been one of the catalysts or one of the reasons for Hamas and Iran acting like they did. But if they're able to get that, and some of the things that have been reported, that a two-state solution is a part of that, none of these people are even asking for a two-state solution. Their answer is, we, want, we love Hamas, and we want river to the sea, which means the death of Israel... Right. And if you're supporting a terrorist organization, you're violating American laws as well. So I don't, I have no sympathy for this. This is not protesting. These are criminal acts on the parts of many of these people. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's not like, well, I don't want America in Vietnam. You don't, you want civil rights movements. I see where we were in the 60s. It makes sense. You may agree or not. Those, it's those, it's right. These are, do you want to really live in Gaza? Do you want to live part of that two-state solution? Do you, would you prefer to be with Hezbollah in Lebanon? Good luck with that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure tickets are still available. Maybe Breeze will fly there soon from MacArthur. <laughs> um, Judge, your, your answer to people that say, um, that, that say that this is within the school, the school is like fomenting this, they're, uh, they're part of this, or do you think they're just watching and intimidated by this? School is part of it, because there is one particular professor, and there are many of them, but one whose name I wrote down, Professor Muhammad Abdu. And this professor says, you know, in class, and he's apparently tweeted as well, I'm with Hamas, I'm with Hezbollah, I am Islamic Jihad. Uh, these are the people who are teaching our kids. OK, these are the people who are educating kids in college and the kids in college have to agree with that philosophy or they're not going to get a good grade and they're not going to graduate. OK, so, you know, the professor or the president of Columbia can can say, OK, you know, uh, the conduct, uh, we should suspend these kids and uh, let's call in the NYPD and get them off campus. And, and I give her credit for that. But here's here's the problem. Um, she doesn't really believe that from the river to the sea is anti-Semitic. Mm -mm. From the river to the sea, everybody commit, knows yeah. it's anti-Semitic. And, you know, Harold, you talk about educating them. Uh, if they know Hamas, Hezbollah, and Islamic Jihad, they know river to the sea. I don't okay. disagree with you, Judge. I yeah. was just trying right. to get the benefit of that. I, I agree issue. 100 percent. Many of them have been arrested for trespass, disorderly conduct. What's got to happen right now? And, you know, you got Alvin Bragg who's all tied up with going after Donald Trump. But the way to educate them is to follow through on the charge, say you got 15 days in jail, or you're going to go to this educational program, just to give them the benefit of the doubt that they may not know. You know, when you find people who don't understand their hate and their anti-Semitism, education is part of the reason. But when they're, they're burning flags and they're protesting and they're organized, the money is coming from one place, they're all being paid, uh, then you really have to look deeper into what's going on here. Right. And to be honest with you, I give the NYPD a lot of credit. Right. They were cursed at. They were spit at. They were, you know, they were banging pots in their ears, and they were professional. Judge, they were saying to the black officers, "You're KKK." Yeah. That, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> or what, I mean, do you, they maybe they aren't educated. Maybe you're right, Harold. There's, yeah. And just the timing. They waited for the president of Columbia to go in front of Congress to show there was total unrest. They helped sell the story and the need to crack down. Yep. But I better wrap up now. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.